We made it south. We're in Florida, and the 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series season is going to start next week down at Lake Okeechobee. So, down here a little bit early to get a warm up in, um, and you know, just get back in the in the groove before a competition starts. But we got a new boat this year again, um, another Lund 2075 Pro V Bass. So. Uh, this is going to be um, seventh year fishing out of this boat, and uh, I love it. It's uh, the perfect boat for me, you know, fishing tournaments, doing a little bit of guiding at home, doing some multi-species fishing. And uh, I'm going to go through it with you here, just show you how I have it rigged up and, you know, the fishing machine that it is. So just before we get into the boat, um, as much traveling as I do, a good cover is important. They've got a deadly cover on these boats. Um, travel's really good. I mean, I have it on all the time on the highway to drive down here. Um, obviously, you got to keep the salt out this time of year, but uh, but yeah, it's a great cover. Travel's good. They've got a unique system where it actually just we got little plastic clips that clip into this rail underneath, and uh, really easy to use and really easy to sort of put on and off but this can go up the side pull these off and we're going to get into the boat so i'm going to get this cover off and we'll have a look inside this thing all right so on the way down uh i stopped in tennessee at hennessy outdoor electronics and they actually rigged up all my electronics and everything on this boat this year so it was a real treat usually i do it with you know get some help from some of my buddies at home and we get it done, but uh, the way these guys do everything with their power harnesses, everything's you know really clean and neat. Um, it was like I say, a real pleasure and treat, and everything's working great. I've got three or four days in on the water with the boat now fishing, and uh, couldn't be happier. Best setup I've ever had for sure. A little bit different screens this year. For years I've run the Helix machines and this year um, switched it up a little bit and I'm running four screens on this boat, two Apex 13s and two Solix 12s. And uh, you know, just these things are, the, the Helix has been fine. I've used them for years because they're bulletproof, easy to use. Um, and I knew how to do everything I wanted to do, but there's just more options, you know, on these machines that, uh, they're a little bit better. The picture's beautiful, and I can't wait to kind of put them to good use. Um, this machine I've got on the on a Kong mount, and uh, you know, really solid, uh, easy to take on and off when I, you know, if I'm parking it somewhere and I want to take the graphs off at night. Um, trolling motor, Minn Kota Altrex, 36 volt. Uh, man, best trolling motor I think. Been around for for a while now, and again bulletproof um hummingbird mega live forward facing sonar we got a 360 on here love the 360 for looking for grass clumps looking for rock you know this shows you where to cast and then i can shine the mega live over to stuff that i see with the 360 great system um you know do you need all these electronics to catch fish absolutely not but i do it for a living fishing against the best bass anglers in the world and guiding and I got to catch fish so every bit of technology I can use I want to have on here you can see some of the cool rigging stuff that the guys at Hennessy did um, cool clips for looking after these cables nothing's pinched um, just you know really nice job got a the TH Marine troll jacket on here and that just protects all your cables keeps everything organized chill tracks on here makes the foot pedal pretty comfy looks good uh, we got the g-force trolling motor handle over there heavy duty handle um, so yeah we're set up up at the front of this boat i'm gonna hop in here now and show you you know we got a ton of storage on this thing and i'm gonna show you how i have it laid out it's a little bit messy right now i'm in fishing mode but uh you're gonna get the the real scoop here one of the things that I love about the front deck on this boat, and this has been around for a couple years now, but Lund has padded deck. So um, this is all padded. So I'm on my feet all day. I usually don't use a chair up here unless it's like really rough and it just makes it a little bit easier on your feet and legs. I'm not getting any younger. Uh, so it's a nice feature to have um, if you're you know thinking about that. Uh, we got some new latches this year and they're all locking which is really nice again as much traveling as i'm doing but um, they you know all metal heavy duty latches so that's good 
uh, going through the some of the compartments the center ones rod storage so I can fit a massive number of rods in here uh, you know 20 20 combos if I want no problem uh, I got my battery charger down there and then I've actually got three um, X2 lithium batteries, 100 amp hour up here for my trolling motor. Uh, they're tucked away underneath the rods in a nice spot, so that's pretty slick. Uh, no issues. I mean, this is going to be year two running these lithium batteries, and they're, you know, a little bit more expensive, but they're going to last you a long time, five year warranty. And uh, I haven't even been close to having dead batteries once yet. So they. You know, when I plug them in within an hour or two, they're usually charged right up. Um, pretty slick. Uh, we got a little bit of a cooler here. Tons of storage up here. I keep a lot of my tackle on this side. Keep some more tackle, life jackets over here. Um, you know, culling equipment, rain gear. A little bit, some soft plastics up in the front corner. Uh, we got the recessed foot pedal area for the trolling motor pedal. And that's, you know, a lot easier on your hand, your knees and back. Um, you know, standing up there running everything all day. All right, on the console area, um, we got the Apex 13 and a Solix 12. So again, use the Kong mount right here and really solid, easy on and off. Um, the consoles on these boats are pretty slick too. I've got this one dismounted direct. It's rock solid. There's a nice mounting plate on the console. So, you know, really well thought out. I've got another remote for the Talon right here. We got a USB plug-in so I can, you know, charge your phone, run a GoPro, power, you know, do all that stuff. Got a little radio. I listen to some uh, podcasts or some satellite radio sometimes when I'm fishing by myself. And then, you know, all the regular live well light controls, that sort of thing. Um, got a cool keychain here. My buddy Terry Parisian back in Kenora made that for me. Um, it's all beaded together, Canadian bass. So... I've carried that with me for a couple years. It's been good luck, I think. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's the console. Uh, we got the, I've got a jack plate TH gauge right here so I can move the jack plate around. Um, you know, also pretty handy to have. One of the things I've got on the boat this year that's new is the snap-in marine mat. So it's just a soft floor that snaps in. Um, really easy to take in and out and you know just easy on the feet easy to clean you can spray it and uh you know just sort of a nice finishing touch to keep this thing nice and comfy all right but at the back of the boat again we got a bunch more storage i got this is kind of my little day box and you know keep some sunscreen scale cloths to clean the screens stuff that you you know you need to kind of use every day plenty of room in these live wells um, you know whether you want to fish bass walleyes uh, you can put put big fish in there um, insulated lids uh, never have any problems keeping fish alive with these live wells so all good there um, these seats pretty handy you know I do a fair amount of guiding at home so if you have three three or four people in the boat I mean everyone's got a seat to sit in they're pretty comfy and then got storage underneath um, these two I keep uh, my other two batteries so I've run in two x2 group 31s and so those are big heavy-duty batteries and that's gonna run the motor and all the accessories that I have in the boat I got them rigged in parallel so my one battery that's kind of just dedicated to all the electronics gets a hit from the motor every once in a while keeps it all charged up and you know lots of power for all the screens um, Hennessy also put in some on off switches for the batteries back here so everything at night gets shut off um, I've got nothing that's going to drain power out of this thing when I'm not using it so that's been an issue in the past not anymore um, pretty slick setup uh, on this side, I keep some tools under these doors, um, you know, safety equipment. Um, we got to keep one compartment clear for our marshals on the Elite Series. So that one's generally got nothing in it. And if they need to put some stuff away, they got a spot. On the back end, um, Mercury 250 Pro XS. So great motor. This is since 2017 that um, been running one of these. And again, I never have any issues with them. Um, the best feature I can tell, I can, you know, for me 
no oil like you don't have to mess with oil a couple oil changes throughout the season and and that's pretty easy uh atlas jack plate i got run a 10 inch atlas jack plate on the back so uh you know on all the different types of water that we fish it just comes in handy so much over the course of the year to get across shallow water out on big water um, i can crank that thing all the way down trim the motor up a little bit and it's going to work pretty good um, Minn Kota talons on the back get a lot of questions about the talons how come you're not running raptors and for me i love that the, these are 12 footers so when i'm fishing up at home uh, and you know up north in general just have a little bit more um, ability to use them in that bit deeper water um, and the other thing it's just two wires to hook up and they're rolling i mean it, they're very easy to install there's no pumps or anything so the, for me they're just easy and they work really well um, the the ta the you know the raptors probably do look a little bit better but um you know if something works i'm good with that i've got the tilt brackets on there so if you got to go under a bridge or get under something low you can drop them down a little bit but um you know for like i say 12 footers um they're pretty low profile nice little customization job here on the talon so for quite a few years now uh z decal z decal uh, however you want to say it there's no word um, that I get made fun of more for the way that I say it than decal um, <laughs> but anyway uh, Z decal in Georgia um, make really good carpet graphics and then um, they wrapped my boat and truck this year it looked turned out awesome I love it and then they're also offering these talon wraps and you know they make them for uh, raptors for power poles as well um, and you can just order them, you know, get them in any kind of pattern that you want. Um, and they're pretty easy to install. They have a video on how to install everything, but they'll, you can design them on their website and they'll ship them out to you. Also the custom graphics for the, for the motors as well for a pro access. Um, they did those up for me as well. So, you know, if you want to get your rig looking good, nice little touch to add to it. On the back end of this thing, running a Mercury uh, Fury prop, it's a 24 pitch three blade. And, uh, you know, I found that that's been, that's one that I've got the sort of get the most speed, best performance out of. I also carry a four blade 22 Bravo. And I'll throw that on if we go to the Great Lakes or some of the big water places. It's not quite as fast, but keeps the bow up really good. It's really poppy. So, you know, if you're sort of fighting in big waves, it just keeps you keeps your nose up really helps that out a little bit better but this is a pretty good all-around prop these furies are are you know high quality and high performance there's the 2023 rig uh i'm sure i missed a few things but if you have any questions leave them in the comments send me a message this thing's looking better than ever uh the boat and truck uh so i can't wait to get the 2023 season underway um, and you know, look forward to putting a bunch of bass and all kinds of fish in this boat. Beautiful afternoon. It's time to go fishing. Thanks for watching.